Anne Wei Aguru Biography, Family, Husband and Children Anne Wei Aguru Biography Anne Wei Aguru was born in Kirnyaga County, Jichagu Sub-County in the early 70s. She is the current Governor of Kirnyaga County. She is the former Cabinet Secretary, Ministry of Devolution and Planning. Anne Wei Aguru was appointed by President Uru Kenyaga in April 2013 as the Cabinet Secretary for Devolution. She is behind establishment of Hudama Centers, places where Kenyan citizens can access government services more efficiently, as well as the 30% procurement rule, which accords at least 30% of all supply contracts to the government to the youth, persons with disability and women. She resigned from her post in November 2015 following allegation of corruption in her docket. In 2011 she was nominated as one of the top 40 under 40 women in the country, the only nominee at the time from the public service. Anne Wei Aguru routes Governor Ndathi in Kirnigo Jubilee primary. Former Cabinet Secretary Anne Wei Aguru is one step closer to becoming the next Kirnigo Governor after trouncing the incumbent Joseph Ndathi in the Jubilee Party primaries. Anne Wei Aguru had a commanding lead of over 80,000 votes with 102,927 votes against Ndathi's 19,078. Once she claims the ticket, Anne Wei Aguru will face off with another former female minister, Narc Kenya's Martha Kardu, in the August general election and has once again been tipped to win. Should either Wei Aguru or Kardu emerge triumphant in the August general election, they would make history by becoming the first female governor if not among the first. Anne Wei Aguru resigned from the Office of Cabinet Secretary in the Ministry of Devolution and Planning in Disgrace in November of 2015 after being hounded over the loss of hundreds of millions of shillings. At the time Anne Wei Aguru was categorical that she was forced to resign not out of a sense of responsibility for the lost funds but as a result of the political pressure she felt once it became public knowledge. The fight against corruption eventually mutated into the fight against Anne Wei Aguru, she said at the time. Anne Wei Aguru thereafter remade herself into a politician, first fueling speculation that she would seek elective office in Nairobi before declaring her intent to become the next Kirnyaga governor. Anne Wei Aguru Education Background 1. Graduate student at the University of Nairobi, master's degree in economic policy 2. Undergraduate student at the University of Nairobi, degree in economic policy 3. Secondary school student at Mwa Forces Academy, Nairobi level 4. Secondary school student at Precious Blood Ryaruta High School, O-Level Anne Wei Aguru Job History 1. April 2013 November 2015, Cabinet Secretary, Devolution and Planning 2. Director, Integrated Financial Management and Information System, IFMAS 3. Technical Advisor in the Cabinet Office, Office of the President on Secondment from the World Bank 4. Internet Research Assistant at Transparency International 5. Senior Public Sector Manager, Assistant Vice President, at Citigroup. 6. Head of Governance and the Economic Stimulus Program at the National Treasury. 7. She provided technical assistance to the Public Service Reform Secretariat in what was then the Cabinet Office. Anne Wei Aguru Career. M. Zanwei Aguru began her career in the public service by providing technical assistance to the Public Service Reform Secretariat in what was then the Cabinet Office. Since then she has variously served as the Head of Governance and the Economic Stimulus Program at the National Treasury, alternate to the Permanent Secretary, National Treasury in the Public Procurement Oversight Authority and Advisory Board in the Women Enterprise Fund Board. Further, in view of her distinguished public career, she was successfully nominated two years ago as one of the top 40 under 40 women in the country, the only nominee at the time from the public service. M. Zanwei Aguru is published and has her academic background and experience in economics and public policy. She holds a master's degree in economic policy from the University of Nairobi, and has specialized experience in the public finance financial management systems, public service reform, capacity building and governance. Prior to her appointment, Ms. Wei Aguru was the Director, Integrated Financial Management and Information System, IFMAS, and 
head of governance at the National Treasury. She served briefly as a senior public sector manager, assistant vice president, at Citigroup. Previously, Ms. Swayaguru served as a technical advisor in the Cabinet Office, Office of the President on Secondment from the World Bank. In the past two years, Ms. Swayaguru led her IFMS team at the National Treasury to win three awards for exemplary performance in the public service. She was also nominated two years ago, as one of the top 40 under 40 women in the country, the only nominee at the time from the public service. Ms. Swayaguru has been published, and has served as the alternate to the Permanent Secretary National Treasury in the Public Procurement Oversight Authority Advisory Board, and, the Women Enterprise Fund Board. She won the 2017 general election beating the incumbent Governor of Kirnyaga to become a new, current Governor of Kirnyaga County. Anne Wayaguru Profile, Private Life When she is not busy at work, Anne Wayaguru likes reading, traveling, dancing and spending time with her three sons Ian, Don and Wabu. Quite the role model she inspires a sense of success in many young ladies in leadership who would love to be in her position one day. Anne Wayaguru Family of Children Miss Wayaguru is a proud mother of three sons, Ian, 17, Don Kama 14 and Wabu, 9. Anne Wayaguru Wealth Former Devolution Cabinet Secretary Anne Wayaguru has for the first time moved to declare her wealth insisting that she did not benefit in any way from fraudulent transactions at the National Youth Service, NIS. In an exclusive interview with Citizen TV's Hussein Muhammad, Wayaguru said she is worth SH-160 million with liabilities that total to SH-80 million. In terms of assets, including this house which is on loan, I'm worth SH-160 million and the liabilities total to SH-80 million. The net value is therefore nothing to write home about, she said. Wayaguru dispelled claims that she had enriched herself from proceeds of corruption at the net saying she owned most of the things she has way before joining government. I lived in Rwanda before I joined government and I own a house there. I also drove a Mercedes-Benz before joining government so there is no way I could have benefited from fraudulent transactions at the NIS, she stated. I worked at the World Bank and as the assistant vice president at Citigroup before joining government so the things I own were acquired legally. Asked whether she was ready for a lifestyle audit, Wayaguru said, Eek is already carrying out a lifestyle audit on me and they have picked documents from our home that pertain to our lives. The former CS noted that her house located in Kaitauru was bought under a mortgage plan for cabinet secretaries on a 3% interest rate for 20 years. She refuted claims that she bought three houses and paid in cash saying, my house is not paid for and it did not cost SH-150 million, only the deposit had been paid. Wayaguru stated that she was saddened by personal attacks on her children, refuting claims on social media that one of her sons owned an Austin Martin that he was pictured next to. My son is an ordinary teenager and would get a ride from people. We don't own a car. We can't even dream of owning it because it is very expensive. People go to motor shows and take pictures next to cars, it does not mean they own them. She quipped. She said reports on social media that she owns malls in different parts of the country are false, revealing that she too bargains during shopping. I do not pay more than SH2,500 for my shoes and I bargain for every delivery. We declare our wealth after every two years in government and we did it when we were appointed into cabinet so my records are available. I wear the same jewelry that I have been wearing for the past six or seven years and people can see the same since my photos have been posted severally on social media. She clarified that she helped stop a planned theft of SH 800 million from the ministry, saying the investigations led to the revelation of SH 791 million lost through fraudulent dealings with certain companies. Wayaguru said the challenges she faced during her time at the ministry and the battle she fought have made her a stronger person. It was a tough moment for me. But you cannot come out of such fire the same. I am stronger now than I was before and I am not naive anymore. I used to trust many people, but now I am very keen on who I trust," stated Wayaguru. Anne Wayaguru Husband, Anne Wayaguru Married Is Anne Wayaguru married? 
details on Anway Iguru her husband and marriage to be updated soon. Anway Iguru age. Details on Anway Iguru age to be updated soon.